Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Pink Fresh Studio. And today I'm sharing a couple layouts on the blog. And this is another one that I created using the Noteworthy collection. And this collection is beautiful. If you like violet and purples and the combination with yellow, then this collection is for you. It's just beautiful. So I had an idea of creating something really festive for this layout because the pictures of another document are really fun. So I am going to use the Essentials Ornate Banner Die Set to actually cut little banners for my layout and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna say quite a few of them uh, you're gonna see right now that I'm using my little mini die cutting machine and I'm gonna cut um, I'm gonna say around four or uh, four uh, four to six banners out of uh, the all the goodness paper right now just be you happy thoughts and enchanted bloom and I'm gonna make sure that I'm just gonna cut the small banner and I want to add the little detail. So you're going to see that I'm actually showing you how I cut one. I'm going to take it off camera. And literally, it took me not too long because it doesn't take long. But it's a two-step process because you have first have to cut the banner. And then you got to cut the little detail at the bottom of the banner. So you're going to see right now, like, again, like I said, I took it off camera. And when I cut, I'm going to say around, yeah, around six or seven banners out of each one of the papers. And all I'm doing right now is just going to separate them because I, I had them all in a pile and I just separate them to get them ready for this layer and this layout is very simple but it's gonna be very festive and just the colors work nicely on this but also the formation that I'm gonna create and the pictures that I'm gonna document right now this is my baby this is our baby not just my boy it's my baby uh, we have a Boston Terrier he's not even a baby he's gonna 10 years old and that's my daughter and they love each other but whenever he comes around she plays with him she does his ears she pulls oh you'll be surprised with and he comes back for more so I usually take pictures of them. this is what they do at the dinner table after dinners then he comes up to the chair and just to play with her so all I'm doing right now is all those banners that I created I am actually gonna create a, a triangle think of it I'm gonna just kind of create a chevron a triangle um, think of it as a banner hanging from uh, the top of my layer I don't know how to explain it to you it's just it's gonna form a triangle and for that I'm just gonna layer the banners so that they create the formation and I'm just gonna play with the patterns and that's why I cut I'm gonna use mostly the B sides of the patterns because they're more of a planar uh, pattern they don't have that much of um of a design so it's it's easier on the eye in a way because I'm combining all the colors and you're gonna see how easily this comes together I'm just I started with the center banner which is I'm gonna make sure that those blue are the ones that baby blue kind of gray stone are the ones that are on the center and then I'm gonna work the angle from there and I'm gonna just glue them uh, together I'm using um, removable tape but this removable uh, glue or tape whatever way you want to call it uh, it actually becomes permanent if you don't if you don't move it around so you're gonna see that once I am happy with what it looks like at the top part that was my trial I'm gonna go and start building the bottom and I'm gonna make sure that the blue banners that I put at the I'm gonna say the vertices of this triangle point to the picture so I'm gonna make sure that I have the picture in place to start building my triangle so again I'm gonna work I'm gonna work the same fashion but the triangle at the bottom is gonna be a little bit smaller than the one at the top I wanted the one at the top to be quite heavy and quite larger compared to the bottom one and having the triangles is gonna point right onto the picture and because the banners in this case they're quite I'm gonna say a little bit larger than maybe some paper flags or you can use little pieces of paper if you want to repeat this and you don't have the die but you should get the die because it's a really nice die it comes in a set of three I'm just saying enabler but this is a really nice going back to the banners because they're quite larger they're gonna take a lot of the space of the real estate of your page without making it feel heavy so it's gonna take very little for you to embellish the page uh, in my case I try to keep it very minimal because I think the papers are gonna do a lot of the work for me and I love the design I love all the colors you're gonna bring that there's gonna be a little bit of texture because by layering the, the banners there's some lift there's some movement on the page and once I've glued everything 
everything i'm actually gonna take it to my sewing machine actually my mom's sewing machine and just stitch it i have a love hate relationship with sewing machines i'm not the greatest at it and i've had a, i haven't had luck when i purchased one for me it came out it was really bad and my mom has actually industrial um sewing machines so it's a little bit harder to control so you're gonna see right now and the way i actually um stitched this was with a little bit of purple at the beginning and then it ripped so then i switched to white um em embroider and em floss so you're gonna see that you see a little peak of purple at the bottom and i'm okay with that because it actually there's quite a bit of the violet purple in the layout so you're gonna see right now i'm just securing some of the um banners and i'm actually kind of lifting also the edges just to create a little bit of movement i love for this i love how you see it came together um so now all i'm gonna do is actually start working on finishing this layout and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna back the picture but i'm gonna back it just so that um I create the illusion of frames or pieces of paper and behind it so you're gonna see that I'm gonna use this is um, the lovely moments paper and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut I'm gonna say like a triangle out of it just to um, back the top left corner of the picture and then I'm gonna use uh, what I'm using for the bottom right corner of the picture is one of the journaling tags where you have all the journals so I had this one that looks like a pocket is that yellow checker that I already have in the banners and I, I also cut one of the sentiments or one of the cut aparts from my I think it's called lovely no it's not lovely moments happy thoughts paper is the one that has all the cutouts and there was one that said lovely moments so i'm just gonna kind of extend my um cluster towards the right with that and once i have that i added a little bit of foam adhesive behind the picture just to create a little bit of lift and make it stand out from the page uh once i have that i glue it onto the center of the page and i'm gonna start working on the title because i already had it in my brain so the title is gonna be love and gabby my daughter's name is gabrielle and we call her gabby so literally the perfect title love and my daughter that's there's no more to say so i'm using the puffy stickers for that the word love comes in the puffy frame sticker and then i'm going to use the two sets of uh, alphas i'm using the mini ones to spell the word and and i make sure that i picked all the light blue colors and for the my daughter's name gabby i'm going to try to get a little bit of the yellow and some of the violet purple uh, on the gabby i don't want to i bring so much green or more blue because i have enough already on the layout so once i have that i'm gonna bring that camera since we just click and that's from the mixed embellishment pack and i'm just bringing a few of the cardstock stickers and um and then i'm gonna bring some hearts and these hearts are actually from the mix two or the mix one i still have a sheet of them uh this is like one of my most precious uh stuff in my stash so i still have a uh i've already gone to two packs of that this is my third pack like i said i when i like something i stash it for later use and that's one of them so i just added a few hearts um in the clusters and all i'm gonna do is right now is add my lines with journal i remember how the small the bottom uh triangle is shorter I'm just gonna add my lens journal to the left of the triangle and that's gonna complete my little triangle after that I'm just gonna create a small cluster right at the bottom of the lens journal just to help me bounce uh, the eye of the viewer through the page and for that again I'm gonna start bringing just to tie all of these uh, clusters together I'm gonna start bringing some enamel dots and enamel dots is probably one of my favorite things I go through lots of them and I really like the colors of this so I'm gonna have to find another way to stash them to in my little um in my home somewhere so all i'm doing right now is just adding my enamel dots to the clusters you're gonna see that i bring another puffy sticker to the the cluster at the top and circles because i'm repeating the circles and after that that's about it i think i just added a few more enamel dots i'm gonna bring one little green to every single one of the clusters uh where i added the enamel dots just to bring some of the green and make sure like you know the clusters pop and they make your eye go through the entire page that's about it super simple i love love how this turned out very festive lots of texture easy to put together all you're gonna need is that die and that die is the ornate banner die set and it's amazing as always if you have any questions how this came together do not hesitate to contact me i would love to give you a hand make sure you hop onto the blog to check the other project that i created and you can check the die set in the shop um 
and that's about it for me today thank you so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's always lots of content being added thank you so much for joining me guys bye bye